Yo, what's good everybody? It's your boy the strongest wizard and you know what time it is. It is fight night and we got Grandis versus Metal Guru, my boy. Uh, I'm gonna have my opponent start off here since he did win the dice roll. He's gonna go into Terrier and then into Weedmon for one. That card is busted. I'm gonna go into the Gabu X and then go into the Guru, setting my opponent to one. Uh, the choke is real here. And he's gonna go ahead and just hard play the... Uh, the... Um, the ex rookie here getting the Akuamon. Um, sending two to the bottom here. I am at two right now. Um, and it looks like I just choke him back at one uh, with the blue memory boost. Uh, checking my hand here, what I want to grab. And I'm going to grab the Wear X. Um, that card is really good. And uh, making sure that you have it is super important in the. Um, in the matchup or in just in, when you play this deck honestly uh he's just gonna evil evolve into the kumon in the back putting me back at two again i'm gonna raise the uh guru adding the x i don't have the promo in hand so i'm gonna go ahead and evolve into the wear bouncing his digimon because i have the x antibody in hand in sources uh drawing two cards one for the evil one for guru and then restanding um so my opponent's back at one I don't think there's a way he can currently kill me right now. Um, I think if he raised promo X antibody underneath, uh, he suspends my guy, swings over it, would probably be the only way he could do it, but that's kind of a lot to ask for. So he's going to stay in raising, go into the promo in the back, um, staying at one, and then playing his uh, green memory boost, getting the grandest, the big boy. So I'm currently sitting at two memory. I'm going to Evo into the Gabu in the back. And uh, go into the Gabu X for free. Um, go into the Guru for two. Go into Guru X in the back. So this stack is looking really, really nice. Uh, I'm going to pop the uh, Blue Memory Boost go to two. Just in case I hit a X antibody, I want to make sure that I don't pass turn. And then I'm going to go ahead and play the uh, Madoki for three, choking him to one. So now he needs two memory to go into Grand Koagumon. Um, so I am not too afraid right now. Uh, plus he can't pop the Green Memory Boost right because I'm Madoki. I mean, he can't, he just wouldn't gain the memory, so. Um, I think he's gonna go, yeah, he's gonna go ahead and raise here. Um, pretty good stack. He's gonna go into the X antibody, and I think he's gonna go straight into Grandis and completely skip Grand. I don't think he has it in hand. Uh, so he's gonna swing over my Digimon going into Grandis, yep. Uh, setting me to three, gains a memory off the Evo cost, and then piercing for one, hitting a cool boy. Uh, I'm gonna get the uh, Guru X because that is my only target, um, and then he gets to restand. Uh, well, he's just pretty much saying now that the Madoki suspended, but it just unsuspends on my turn anyway. So I'm gonna draw a card for my turn. Um, debating here whether I want to stay in raising or not, um, but I bring. I decide to bring out. I'm gonna go into the X antibody. Um, I still don't have the, I don't think I have the promo yet. Yeah, the wear promo. Sometimes you get it, you know? Sometimes you get it in the match, sometimes you don't. Uh, I'm gonna swing with the wear again, uh, resending off effect, drawing an extra card, uh, putting him to one, and swinging, hitting to the Digimon that doesn't allow you to play Digimon for free or for by ability, I believe that's what it is. So he's gonna hatch, go into the EXO1 Tentomon, uh, he's currently at one. He can't pop the boost, so I'm still able to choke him here. Um, he can swing at security, suspend one of my Digimon off of the effect. Uh, so he's gonna swing at security, hitting into a Digimon with way lower DP than he is. Um, by effect, he's deciding what to suspend here. Um, I was, you know, we were talking about it now, and he, he was gonna suspend the uh, the wear, but I was telling him that. You know with the protection um, is it really worth it so he's gonna go ahead and swing over the madoki piercing for one hits another 12k um so the guru really paying off here if he would have swung into it it would have i would have stripped the two gabus and then he wouldn't have been able to pierce because in order for you to pierce you need to to destroy the digimon and um 
he wouldn't be doing that. So uh, it'd be kind of a feel bad. But now he has access to the green memory boost if he chooses to. So yeah, he's gonna pop the green memory boost, putting himself to three. And then um, I'd imagine he just Evo in the back, but nope, he goes into the, uh, chokes me back at one and plays the Mimi. So I'm gonna go ahead and Evo into the Gabumon in Raising, uh, go into the Gabu X. Um, really no reason why I wouldn't swing here. Uh, I'd be in the same predicament as last time. So I'm gonna use a Hammer Spark to go to, uh, to go to zero, to go to two and then to play the Garuru, go into zero and then go into the Guru X for free. Uh, so I have a whole nother new line in the back. Uh, it's looking pretty good. Um, like I said earlier, there's no reason why I wouldn't swing here. Um, but it looks like I do play a Hammer Spark going to one. And uh, I'm going to swing here just in case I hit another X antibody. I don't want to go to pass turn. So uh, I'm going to hit into a green memory boost, um, which is okay. I'm going to play a, a Ice Wall here going to zero. And then I have another Madoki putting him to three. He's gonna go ahead and raise. And I know there's a lot of Metal Guru decks that don't ra that don't play Madoki, and some do. I'm a huge fan of Madoki. Uh, as you can see in this matchup, in this match alone, it's put in a lot of work. Even if he had the Grand Kawagamon, if he were to trash the sources and trash the Weedmon, he wouldn't gain the memory. It's just super relevant. Uh, now, granted, it does. You know, it's not the best because you can't go into um, uh, Gabu X over it. It doesn't draw you any cards on play. Uh, but, um, you know, it's still really good. So now with the Ice Wall here, he, he's in a bit of a predicament. If he swings at security, um, he's going to lose two memory. If he swings it over the Wereguru, he doesn't get the piercing. Um, so he's going to tap the Mimi, hatch, go into the Palmon, just cycling through his deck but the ice wall really putting work here uh showing everyone why this card needed to be at one <laughs> so um yeah so if he swings at security if he swings over the where i just pitched the two he's gonna suspend the uh, madoki lose two memory um he would be at one it just yeah it wouldn't work out um so he's gonna evo into the stingmon and um i guess i'm i still don't have a memory tamer a, a memory fixer here so um i'm he still can choke me at one but i have just too many bodies on the board to not get game next turn um so yeah i think he's gonna swing at security yep hits into a gabu suspending the madoki restanding loses two memory I'm currently sitting at zero and now if he wants to kill the Madoki to make his boost online, he, he can't because it's gonna pass turn like as you see it does. And then I'm at two, he stays suspended, I'm gonna raise. Really, I don't think there's a way I lose here unless I hit something an option security and I don't, I hit a rookie and I'm gonna swing. Um, just showing him that I was looking for the Metal Guru the whole entire time to bounce his Grandis and I never found it, but until the very end. So unfortunately, my opponent decides to start this match um, and he starts with a Weedmon because he does not have a rookie putting me to four. Um, and in my hand right now, I have three Gabu Xs. So I decided to play one first, seeing what I can get. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and get the uh, Wear here, the Wear X. I'm gonna go into the Gabu X like I was saying in the back and then go choking my opponent at one with the Guru in the back. He's gonna go to the Kuamon uh, for three, putting me to two. Uh, I'm gonna Evo in the back for free. And uh, I'm gonna swing here, hits into a delicate, goes to hand, of course. And then I'm gonna play a blue memory boost, uh, putting him to one. I'm gonna go ahead and get the promo wear because I did not see that card last game, but this game we did see it. He's gonna go into the Kuamon, swinging over my Digimon. Uh, piercing one hits a uh, cool boy getting the Gerberu X and just goes into a green member boost and still does not find the rookie. Wow, very unfortunate. Um, so he's gonna go ahead and get the Grandis. I'm currently at two, I got the memory boost. I'm gonna go ahead and raise the Gerberu. I'm gonna pop the boost to go to four. 
go into where here for a three going to one. Uh, I'm gonna swing at security, restand, draw an extra card for Guru, hits into a weed mount. I feel pretty safe here because I have the Guru X, so I do have protection. Um, I'm gonna swing again, uh, hits into a Mimi, and this is where we realize that uh, I should be losing one memory every time I unsuspend. Uh, but I was telling him now that I do have the wear X in hand with the buffs. I could have swung over it. <clears throat> and at this point, we've just, you know, we just say we've gone too far. Um, the game would have been way different. I wouldn't have been able to get those two extra swings, um, but I'm gonna go ahead now and swing over it. Um, yeah, it's really, really unfortunate that we that I that I misplayed there and that I didn't catch it. Um, at the time, this was the first time I played Grandis, so I didn't really know honestly. So all around bad. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna hard play the Gabu, uh, go into the Gabu X, gain the Guru. Um, currently at zero, and I just play the hero, putting him to four. And right now, I just there's just too much momentum that I have now. Um, he has no Digimon in raising. Maybe if he had something in raising, he could raise. You know, maybe he can wipe my board, but unfortunately, he didn't have that. So he's just gonna hard play the uh, Mimi and uh, Evo into the Arbor in the back, putting me to two. I'm gonna go to three off hero. Uh, I'm gonna hatch, and like I said earlier, um, yeah, with this kind of board state, there's. It'd be really difficult for me to lose here. Uh, but just in case, I'm gonna go into the um, Gur Metal Guru for four. I have 12 cards in hand, so I'm gonna go back to two, gaining three memory. I'm gonna swing restand, go into the Metal for one, bouncing his Arbor. Um, and uh, yeah, just swinging for game here with the Gabu. So, anyways, um, thank you guys so much for watching this video uh don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the channel it really does help out a lot and don't forget to stay tuned because i have a ton of new bt9 content coming your way see ya